Hello, this is Yuki of JapaneseKitchen.net. This is how to make kagami mochi for the New Year's decoration. First, you need mochiko or sweet rice flour. Add water just enough to combine the flour. You have to repeat add and mix and see, because sometimes you need more, sometimes less water. When the dough gets to the right consistency, spread the mixture in a microwave-safe container in uniform thickness, so that entire area can be heated evenly. You don't need to be overly exact. Microwave the container for about a minute without the cover. Depending on how much sweet rice flour you use, you need to adjust cooking time. When sweet rice flour is cooked, it looks somewhat transparent. Here, some parts are still opaque, but that's fine. Just mix well to make it consistent. It already looks like mochi now. You can eat it now if you want, but we are going to make kagami mochi this time. Take a portion of the hot mochi on the working surface with cornstarch. It's still very hot, so that you need to be careful not to burn yourself. Also, dust your fingers with cornstarch before touching it. Make a disc shape on your palm first and start folding the edge to the center by gradually turning it. Kagami mochi is one of the Japanese New Year's decoration. It's great that even if you're not in Japan and you can't find a Japanese grocery store which sells kagami mochi in your neighborhood, you can still make one without going through the process of pounding rice. Entire process takes less than 20 minutes. When it comes to a point, pinch the center to gather the edges, then flip. Look, it's a beautifully round shape. Make one larger and another one slightly smaller. Stack them like a snowman. Place a tangerine at the top if you like. Here, you're ready for the New Year's Day. For the details of this recipe and other Japanese comfort food recipes, please visit JapaneseKitchen.net. It's Japanese kitchen.net